What is up, humans of the cardboard? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, I am looking at some pretty substantial information revealed for Master Duel. Um, if you don't know, this is the game that we, we presume is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh's attempt at competing with uh, the online formats of like uh, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, uh, Hearthstone, all of those things. Um, and there's a lot up in the air at this point. We don't know exactly what, how, uh, how we're supposed to be obtaining cards in the game, whether you have to do like an insane amount of like unlocking for cards or if you have to do stuff like buying a ton of packs or whatnot, we don't know. Uh, but the game is free to buy. We just don't know how you get a handle on everything in the game. So a lot of information here. We had a demo this, uh, I guess last night into this morning. Here we go, let's just get into some of this information. Um, it seems to actually have a Legacy of the Duelist-esque story mode. We could have guessed that there was gonna be some kind of story mode here, but it's actually for the cards, not the characters, which is kind of cool. So um, uh, the ones that they show off in the demo mainly is the uh, World Chalice um, story mode. So it's Chalice, you play against Crawlers. I'm sure at some point you end up a, mech knights world uh world i don't know you see the world legacy cards you play with world chalice there's other archetypes in there uh, orcus probably comes in there at some point but um yeah pretty cool uh, i like i like that take on it actually because a lot of people are really into the lore of like the actual cards and so this could potentially flesh that out a little bit um but uh it's pretty cool i like it apparently you play with like pre-constructed decks of whatever the archetype you have to play with and um you know that's pretty cool so also shout out to the Yugi organization. They kill it with news. They have all the, pretty much all the information from the stream uh, that you really would need or from the demo up here. You even have videos, we're not gonna watch them here. Uh, apparently also we saw Gemstone Warriors um, as part of the uh, story mode as well. Um, so Gem Knights and also the uh, Cleefort um has a storyline as well so very cool uh i would also assume that at some point we see like the dogmatica or the uh, the albaz um lore because that's like the most recent really big patch of lore um that they get into and, and probably some past ones as well maybe they get into the fact that like s4 psi frames and time thieves are all connected some stuff like that all right, next up, uh, release date for Master Duel vaguely confirmed. And by vaguely, they say it comes out winter 2021. Interesting. Um, one thing that Yugi Organization notes here, which is very, very helpful, is they, they denote that um, since they're referring to financial quarters, potentially, uh, this could likely mean that uh, there, it means early like 2022 instead of late 2021 because I, when it comes to financial quarters it's not exactly uh like the last three months of the year necessarily but uh who knows right like i don't know exactly how this works i know that like when it comes to like new pokemon games coming out when they have a winter game uh it's almost always coming out in november like very close to black friday i believe so um like just because that that seems to be like the, the point in the year where they they can maximize profits with the release of the game. So I don't know if if, if Yu Gi Oh would if Konami would attempt to like match them there and put out a game because we know that they're getting uh, a couple of new pretty exciting games for Pokemon. Like I don't know how much those games compete, how how much those like uh, fan bases cross, and if if that could potentially hurt profits. I don't know. Um, but that's how Pokemon does it, but I wouldn't be surprised if you just said, yeah, early 2022. Uh, but either way, we are still close, <laughs> very close, which is very cool. Uh, whoops, I go this way, there we go. Next up, we have gems confirmed, apparently. Uh, so after clearing one of the tutorials in the stream, a pop-up showed up about obtaining gems. Uh, a, val a, a gem is a valuable jewel that emits a mysterious shine. It is used on the in the shop to buy cards and accessories. Uh, while the game is indeed free to play, it is expected that it will have a system based on some currency like gems. What you can do with the gems and how many you will obtain may not be final as all the footage has had uh, a note explaining that the game is currently still in development. So. Um, yeah, like I think we could have expected this, but it is nice to have confirmation. Uh, Duel Links has a system like this as well. I think they also use gems where, you know, doing a certain amount of duels, you get gems and you can use gems to buy packs and that's how you obtain a lot of cards. Uh, the problem is it's usually hard to obtain all the cards you want in Duel Links without 
spending some money. So that's going to be like, that's going to be the question there is like how, how much of your card pool that you want, are you going to be able to get with just gems and not spending a ton of money on the, on the game? Um, that will definitely be curious. I'm curious. I might, I might, I'm thinking about doing a series where I, I try to play uh, master duel with, without spending any money like by just like grinding super hard and getting a shit ton of gems and then like going in on and doing it with like zero money that would be very interesting but gems are there um i don't know i mean like really we just have to wait and see on like how easy it is to to get cards because there's so many cards like are they just gonna have all the cards in the game immediately who knows um the last thing here is this is just the full stream that you your organization threw up so as far as like the important information here we have like a rough estimate of when it's going to come out we already knew this is kind of like roughly around where it could be but it is nice to know that it could be early 2022 instead of uh, late 2021 so just keep that in mind we'll, we'll find out uh, sooner they're, like they say they're still in development for the game they probably just don't know exactly when they're going to feel ready to release it uh, gems are confirmed and of course the story mode being uh, deck based instead of like Yu-Gi-Oh anime character based very very cool so that's it for today uh, a lot of cool information hopefully we'll get more as we get close to the game i really cannot wait to play this i really intend to start streaming and including this as like one of the main things potentially as long as the game is good <laughs> um because like you never know um but yeah i'm really excited um let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on some of these things and, and maybe just your thoughts in general on master duel at this point uh, but that's going to do it for me here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on Yu-Gi-Oh! news and all the other shiz I do. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.